tree. Look. That's a tip in the tree, look. Well, I'm in uh, Sandra's exotic garden. Bill and Ben have gone off duty. Poor old Ben lost his head before the storm. The grass is looking very fine. And somewhere here is a plum tree. Where's the plum tree, Sandra? That exhibit A is the plum tree. And here is a device here for keeping unwanted beasties away. It flashes a light and frightens them away. Apparently we are assured and exhibit B is this shed. Now Dennis has finished off the shed and Sandra is looking for another shed in case you happen to have one. But there's something very interesting inside the shed which Sandra is going to draw my attention to now. Here we are in the shed. Now Sandra is reluctant to go in the shed because Obviously, it's not because it's fragile and about to fall down, behind but behind the strimmer, in this rather rotten floor, behind the strimmer, I think I better, for graphics, I better move the strimmer. Now, this is what's got Sandra excited. These appear, these objects here appear to be plum stones but each stone as far as we can make out has got a hole in it now we don't get many woody woodpeckers in the shed so we're looking for another culprit and there's a number of animals on the list it could be a very large beetle of some sort it could be a squirrel. Now a squirrel is the favourite option because squirrels are nice and cuddly. But there are allied creatures to squirrels. Little mice. They're quite nice and friendly. But uh, I'm looking to see if the creature, whoever it might have been, has left any evidence. There's lots of evidence here which rather suggests to me, I'm afraid to say, a near neighbour of the mice, Roland Rat. I suspect it's Roland Rat who's been storing up his nuts. And uh, we hope he's not here anymore because Sandra has a particular aversion to Roland Rat. They don't get on. But there they are. I'll see if I can extract one of these so we can look at it in closer detail. Let's see. Now, let me just get a glove to pick it up. Do you want me to pick it up? I've got one here. Oh. I can't see anything on it. Where's the hole? Has it got a hole in it? On the side. Know. On the side. Where on is the it? Side. Where is there a hole on that one? No, there's one with a hole. Look. One with a hole. We're looking for the... Ah, there it is, a perfect example. Well, it's a perfect example for a secretaries. That's beautifully done. If I might say to a trepanning beast. Bit of trepanning there. So it might be early stages of surgery. Perhaps the animals are getting clever. But I must say, Roland Rat looks to be the culprit. If anybody's got any better information. It's curious, isn't it? Just shows what clever little creatures they are. Such a pity they've got those awful slimy tails, isn't it? Anyway, if any of you see this, this shed has had its day. If anybody's got a, on this site, one does, the word plastic is of course not used these days when one talks of growing, but if anybody's got a plastic shed they want to give away or sell for a reasonable cost. They Alex, were under there. They got under there. Oh, they were under there. That's where they were. So how did they get under there? Oh, indeed. Well. So it's a bit small. It's a bit shallow for a rat, actually, isn't it? It's more like a mouse. Oh, well, there you are. We live in hope that it's a squirrel. So that's the day's excitement. Eight by six shed is wanted. And an answer to the question, what are these creatures?